We're going to move right on to action items number 10 here. School District of the City of Detroit. 2015 refunding bonds, unlimited tax general obligations. Most of you have had that uh, document. We've talked about it on several occasions. Mr. Lemons? Yes, Mr. Mr. Chairman, I do have a resolution to that area, and, it's, uh, and I can, we can make additional copies. This number three starts right here. Okay. Resolution to recommend state assumption of the bonding debt of the City of Detroit school bonds as an alternative to the emerging manager's proposal to refinance and extend said bonding. Whereas it is with great reluctance and hesitancy that we, the Detroit Board of Education, recommend any proposal without the requisite support, experts, and counsel. Whereas our honorable body has made it clear we have an inability to comply with the necessary due diligence as outlined in PA 436 of 2012. Whereas, nevertheless, we are compelled under law to make such recommendations, whereas Judge Barry did instruct the emergency manager to allocate the funds necessary for consultants, experts, and legal counsel for the 2013-2014 academic calendar year during complete expected tenure of this emergency manager in order for this body in order that this body may comply with the provisions of PA 436. Whereas the governor has appointed a new emergency manager after the time frame specified by the judge's decision, but has not continued to provide consultants, experts, and legal counsel to advise us during the academic calendar year under his extended emergency management. And whereas it is our sincere belief that to extend these bonds without an elected board's oversight is taxation without representation. Therefore, let it be resolved, we recommend that these bonds be assumed by the state of Michigan and not by the taxpayers of the city of Detroit. Mr. Chairman, I do so move that resolution, the adoption of that resolution. Support. It's been probably moved and supported, the adoption of the resolution just read. Is there discussion on the motion? All it. Okay, we'll have a roll call vote, please. Board member Annie Carter. Board member Javette Hawkins Williams. Board member Elena Harada. Support. Board member Patricia Johnson Singleton. Support. Board member Lamar Lemons. Support. Board member Reverend David Murray. Support. Board member Wanda Redman. She said support. Turn it up. Say it again, say it again. Support. Board member Tawana Simpson. Support. Board member Ida Short. Support. Board member Herman Davis. Support. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item would be PA 436. Was there anything yeah, yes. in that item that you needed? Yes, yes Mr. Chairman, I do have a, a second resolution. And I will turn it, although I wrote it, I would like to hear the ladies read it. Just do the first one right now. Okay, resolution of the Detroit Board of Education to request federal investigation into state of Michigan's operation of schools and preschools receiving federal and municipal tax dollars within the city of Detroit under the RICO statutes and other violations of federal law. Whereas it is abundantly clear that this duly elected Detroit Board of Education, that the state of Michigan is orchestrating the systematic dismantling of the school, of the Detroit public school system, whereas to achieve these ends, the state of Michigan has used illegal, extra legal methods in the aforementioned dismantling, and whereas among the illegal and extra legal means are the following. One. The state of Michigan did issue $12 million to the Detroit Public School District, uh, and those funds were loaned to DPS's principal rival and competitor, the Education Achievement Authority, known as the EAA, to keep said competitor afloat and solvent. A. 
the EAA was otherwise ineligible to receive said funds, and thus the DPS district was used as a conduit, pass-through, or launderer of these funds. B, the DPS district received interest as kickback uh, for its cooperation and complicity in the civil money laundering scheme. C, the funds were never authorized or presented to the Detroit Board of Education as required by PA 436 of 2012. D, these funds were neither approved by the state's emergency loan board nor authori authorized by the EAA as the recipient board. Two, the emergency manager refused to post, report, or even account for the salaries, resources, and allocations that were owned by DPS and were diverted <coughs> to form the EAA. Three, in a blatant disregard for the accepted conventions of accounting, the emergency manager, Roy Roberts, did enter into a contract with himself as emergency manager and president of the EAA when transferring DPS, pro DPS property to the EAA. A, the only schools that could be, quote, made eligible for the EAA were the schools that the emergency manager failed to intervene in their status as priority schools. B, in this transfer, the emergency manager of DPS schools intervened and acted as a transfer and recipient of the property of those schools as well as the students of those schools including students that were honor roll students and therefore not themselves failing. Four, contractors that were simultaneously board members of the EAA in a disregard for the conflict of interest statutes did vote for contracts for the, to themselves. Five, contractors and subcontractors who had spouses who were competing for the same Federal Head Start and early childhood grants at Detroit Public Schools when said contractors neglected to submit the DPS Head Start Early Childhood Grant proposal to the federal government, allowing those contracts to be steered to certain vendors. Six, in blatant disregard to the Health Insurance uh, Portability and Accountability Act of 1976, also known as HIPAA, the EAA school system illegally obtained access to confidential and sensitive DPS student health information which they use to recruit students into the EAA. Therefore, let it be resolved that we, the Detroit Board of Education, do hereby request federal intervention in the aforementioned matters to rectify this grave conspiracy of injustice to taxpayers, voters, and the students of the city of Detroit. Mr. Chairman, I do so move the adoption of the resolution. Support. It's been proudly moved and supported. The adoption of the resolution is a discussion on motion. Mr. Lemons. Yes, uh, I think it's, it's, it, if it's not clear, we believe that there is corruption, and by by them appointing another emergency manager, we didn't get the review, and and um, um, that happens after 18 months. Not only did we not get the get to take one of the four options, we didn't get to review the performance of the emergency managers. And so we've had three emergency managers where we did not get to review their performance after they have served. And that's what they, that was the intent of the law on PA 436. The intent was clear that they wanted the elected body to review and we would have had the option to continue with the emergency manager should, should they've been doing such a stellar good job. That's right. But we were not even given, we have never even been given uh, that option. And we believe that we're being, this resolution said we believe the district is being dismantled for the purposes of, of, of enrollment, enrolling children in charter schools and other districts and destroying our, our district um, with the closing of Davis Aerospace. I didn't get a chance because uh, I was real, real sick so I couldn't get everything I wanted to get in this resolution. But, but we know all the things that they've done. Mm -hmm. And so I got out of my sick bed. I literally, because I don't type, I had to literally dictate that up under the cover, shivering. I don't have anything that's contagious. I think it was just food poisoning. <laughs> but, um, um, to, and make sure that I was here today for this issue. The Board members, I need copies of the resolution. Yes, I have copies so you can get it. I, I mean, you can make We want to thank Mr. Lemons for coming out even though he was sick today. He said he was 
coming out to make sure that these issues were being presented. Is there further discussion on the motion? Um, Serrata? The, the motion is for us to ask for a federal investigation. Correct? Yes. And, and yes. that's what we're doing. Will there be any follow-up to that? How do we get that? We can't discuss we can that publicly. Barbara McQuaid. We can't discuss that publicly. We, we will see that that resolution is placed in the proper hands. proper hands. We can't discuss it publicly. But I, I do have one thing to say, and that sure. is that uh, the other reason we, ha we need to get the financial uh, information about what has happened in our district, and the other reason they keep reporting, they keep appointing these uh, emergency managers to prevent us from getting that information. Right. And you have to remember, if we find out how much money they've squandered, in addition to the little bit that we know, we do have a legal right to sue, and that's why they're working, one of the major reasons they're working to try to have this other kind of school district in the city, so that they can divert our ability to sue, so they think. So, um, remember, we are supposed that we're in a situation where we have taxation with no representation, and that is against uh, the, the federal laws, if not the state laws, definitely the federal laws. And we're also in a situation where we have headly violations in the city of Detroit. Right. Here. That's the one I didn't get a chance to okay. put in. There's a couple of them I didn't put in, but I'll get it in. I'll get it in another resolution. Thank you, Ms. Short. Any, is there further discussion on the motion? Do we need a roll call on this? No. Why not on this one? We had a well, yeah, request, Mr. Mr. Chairman. I asked for a division of the house. We, yeah, we need to have. It's so okay. We had to have it the same thing. Javan Hawkins Williams, Elena Harada, Elena Hart, Patricia Johnson Singleton. Support. Lamar Lemon. Support. Reverend David Murray. Support. Wanda Redman. Simpson. Support. Judy Summers. Ida Short. Support. Herman Davis. Support. Thank you, Mr. Lemons. Yes. Item number C. Mr. Chairman, we have one other resolution. Go right ahead, Mr. Lemons. Okay. And um, I'll have. Um, I'll give you a little background information. Background first. A little background information. Well, we can do that in the discussion. That's the okay. All right. A resolution of support and appreciation for the truthfulness, candor, and accuracy made during the Martin Luther King Jr. Day observation by the Garden City School Superintendent. Whereas we, the duly elected <coughs> Detroit Board of Education, do agree and concur with the sentiments made by the Garden City School Superintendent at the Martin Luther King Jr. Day observation, whereas we, the duly elected school board of education, do not find these comments racist, but an accurate reflection of the current situation in the state of Michigan. Whereas there is an overriding racist application uh, to the se selection of schools to receive an emergency manager or have their district dissolved by the state, Whereas the districts that have been dissolved or had an emergency manager placed over their operation are overwhelmingly districts of color, whereas there is a class action lawsuit against the state of Michigan for the racist application of the law, and whereas we fully anticipate the state of Michigan to select several white majority districts to be placed under emergency management in an attempt to undermine said lawsuit. Therefore, be it resolved that we, the Detroit Board of Education, look forward to working in concert with the Garden City Schools and all people of goodwill to stop the egregious undermining of democracy. Mr. Chairman, I do so move. Support. Uh, let me give you a background information. The Garden City um, uh, um, Superintendent made at, at the Martin Luther King Day uh, 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 celebration that that she didn't want Garden, if you don't want Garden City to be the first majority white district to be under emergency management, they had to take action. And um, and some people took direct offense to it, thinking that was anti-Martin Luther King, but it was actually the truth. And then she clarified her, her remarks, saying that nobody seems to care about black children, that nobody, is anybody, is anybody blind to what they're doing to our children? to black children across the state. 
and although some people were trying to say that she was racist, she was saying, and she was saying there's going to be a white district taken under mm -hmm. emergency management because they're going to try to, just like they did with Lincoln Park mm -hmm. and Allen Park, they want to say that they're not doing all black districts. So someone has to be a sacrificial lamb mm -hmm. so that they can say that I'm not racist, yes. even though the preponderance mm -hmm. of all the districts are black districts. And of course, the biggest one, Detroit, had a surplus before the state intervention. And so um, we want to uh, stand in solidarity. We want to uh, go across this state and, uh, and go to various school boards and allow them um, to, to let them know what the situation is in, in the city of Detroit. And all people of goodwill, just like with Martin Luther King, people of, all, of goodwill of all races came together and marched and stood for, uh, for the rights and for democracy. We were fighting for voting rights. And now 2015, we are in essence fighting for voting rights because although we can vote, our vote okay. doesn't mean anything. No power. No power. You've heard the uh, resolution regarding the superintendent of Garden City. Is there a further discussion on the motion? Mr. Mr. Chairman, I ask for a division of the House. Annie Carter. Hawkins Williams, Elena Harada, support. Patricia Johnson Singleton, support. LaMar Lemon, support. Reverend David Murray, support. Tawanda Redmond, support. Judy Summers, support. Judy Summers. Ida Shore, support. Herman Davis, support. The motion carries. We're going to move the. I'm sorry, you, you missed Tawana. Oh, support. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get that support here? <laughs>